Varothalavalan Varothalavalan or Varothalavalan is a small town or village in the northern Jaffna district of Sri Lanka. It is situated along the Valatella Palapali Arli road between Telapalai and Kaduvan. The Varothalavalan village Grama Savaka GS Division J-241 is located in the Valakaman North Division. The village is close to the Palali military base adjoining Jaffna Airport at Palali. During the Sri Lankan Civil War, since 1990 the village has come under the high security zone and in 1990 the village was completely evacuated by the army. The inhabitants were permitted to return to some areas in April 2015. History The village has a traceable history of about 300 years. Marathati Vinayagar Temple in Varithalavalan is about 300 years old and an Amman temple further north of the Vinayagar Temple said to be even older. A pond and a large terminalia Arjuna tree Maruthanbaram and a large banyan tree near the temple make a good landmark. The temple is highly revered by not only the people from the village but also from the people from neighboring villages. According to word of mouth passed down by ancestors of the village, it was founded by few families about few hundred years ago and expanded into more than hundred families. Most of the families are interrelated and familiar with one another. The village has been mainly an agricultural village but due to modern education initiated by the American Salon Mission in the early 1800s resulted in producing large number professionals. More details of American Salon Mission is available at Yale University Library website. Varunthalaval in American Mission Tamil Mixed School was established by Vinasit M.P. Thampa Papillai in 1866 and it was functioning at the village until June 1990. The school building was located in the middle part of the village. Varuthalavalan Youth League was kicked off in early 20th century. It owns a playground in Varuthalavalan Community Center which is located adjacent to Cancer Home but currently damaged. By the late 1970s the village had become one of the largest agricultural villages in Jaffna district and produced onion, chili, manioc, eggplant, tomato, tobacco, banana etc. Large number of Barassus Balmyra palm trees found in the village enabled the villagers to produce dotty a beverage for the local population. A cancer home was built at the village in 1989 in the land donated by Thampamothu Thampareza. It is about one kilometer east of Telepele Hospital or Telepele Base Hospital. Being in the high security zone for 25 years, the village had become a jungle area, cancer home ruins and the pond near the temple were the only landmarks visible in the Google satellite map until it was released to the owners in April 2015. In March 2015 Cabinet of Sri Lanka decided to release 400 acres in Palavi Mankamam South in Varuthalavalan, 300 acres in Kaduvan and Kurambasadi for resettlement after about 25 years of abandonment. Almost all the houses were damaged. Most houses were without any wooden fittings including the roof and some houses are totally ruined. The area was covered with bushes and trees. Since then the bushes are being cleared and the temple is being rebuilt. Some lands still contain landmines and are being cleared slowly. Sri Lankan Civil War Key events of the Sri Lankan Civil War involving the village were, in reverse chronological order. April 2015, part of the village was released to its original residence after 25 years. October 1990, all the people from the village got displaced as the Sri Lanka army advanced from Palali military base and captured surrounding areas including Barothalavalan. Four women could not leave the village as they were too old. Two of the women died later in the village due to lack of medical facilities and two of them came out of the village with the help of ICRC. June 1990, hostilities broke out between Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam LTTE and Sri Lanka Army. Intermittent shelling, firing and granite dropping from helicopters against LTTE positions affected the village resulting in displacement of half the population. March 1990. Indian peacekeeping force IPKF withdrew from the village as they withdrew from northeastern province, Sri Lanka. October 1987, hostilities broke out between IPKF and LTT and resulted in village came under IPKF control consequently the village was cut off from rest of the Jaffna Peninsula. In the battle to take control of Jaffna town 12 people belonged to the village were killed elsewhere in Jaffna Peninsula. August 1987, IPKF lands in Jaffna Airport at Palalia and moved into the village. July 1987, Indo-Sri Lanka Accord was signed and Sri Lanka Army withdrew from the village and people from the village returned to the village after about two-month displacement. May June 1987, Sri Lanka Army advanced from Palalia military base and captured the village resulting in total displacement of the villagers except one family. Early 1985, 
Sri Lanka Army tried to advance to Telapalai town from the Palali military base resulting in three people shot and killed in the village. The army returned to the base due to resistance from Tamil rebels. November 19, 1984 Brigadier Ari Yaparuma got killed in a mine explosion on the Vilaitelapali Arali Road near the village resulting in five houses burnt down in the village in retaliation. July 1983, Black July violence against Tamils resulted in number of families from the village who were living outside northeastern province, Sri Lanka lost their properties. One person died at Colombo General Hospital. October 1981, after a bank robbery at Kiliniki by People's Liberation Organization of Tamililand Plot. Its leader Uma Mahesh Warren's parents' house at the village was burned in retaliation. Notable people Vidwa Siromani C. Ganesha Iyer, a famous Tamil scholar served as the priest at the Marathadi Vinayagar temple during the middle part of the 20th century. One of his famous works is his interpretation of old Tamil literature. Professor P. Selvan Ayagam first person from the village obtained Ph.D. engineering. Drive S. Shivalingam second person from the village obtained Ph.D. fisheries.